those of us that can't have a tower in the backyard, um, if we are lucky, uh, we can put antennas up on the roof. Now, putting antennas up on the roof poses um, some problems uh, for all amateurs. Um, the most common method um, when you've got a tiled roof, and in this particular instance that you see here, it's a concrete tiled roof, uh, is to use a product called a Dectite. Now, um, a Dectite um, here uh, in this photo shows how um, a little mast is coming out of the roof, and of course the mast is mounted underneath. Um, there's some more Dectite examples, um, but the problem with a Dectite is the deck tight will need some structure underneath and the mast and whatever you're sticking out needs to be mounted uh, to that. So for just a cable outlet, um, you can see an example here of a cable outlet um, that prevents the water from getting in, but uh, that is, um, it's, it's a less than ideal solution. There's something much better on the market and uh, I was very happy to uh, discover that product. And that product is a, a cable gland made for concrete tiled roofs. Um, it was a great discovery to, uh, to find that. And uh, that product, um, as you can see in the picture here, um, is very, very neat, requires no structure underneath, seals 100% and is ideal for uh, the task of getting cables out Onto, uh, onto the roof to our antennas. This picture um, shows how you can, uh, you can fit off uh, the cable and it looks quite neat. Um, you end up with uh, a piece of conduit and uh, that can have um, um, one or more cables coming through depending on their size and uh, by putting a, a, a loop in it like this, a half loop, um, no water will ever get in it. And uh, yeah, that's that's a, it's a great solution. So in this video, I will show you how to um, install those glands and we'll show you um, a little bit more details about those glands. So thank you for um, watching the video. Uh, I hope you enjoy it. We're now going to get a gland or two fitted. This is a roof tile. Best to have a spear roof tile. And uh, here we've got our glands. Now, these are very nice glands. They have got the ability to um, go in under the under the ridge. So this long part here comes up underneath, and that round part seals up over the top. So they're very good. Um, the tile we've got here is a concrete tile, and we've got uh, two of them. Um, one outlet which we need now and another one which who knows we might need later. So the dimensions, we've looked at the dimensions on that and in this case we have got the first one sitting at 145 millimeters from the bottom which is here and the next one another 100 mil further up which is here. 245 so that's um, that's the area there um, let's go and uh, draw some lines on that roof tile there we go there's the first one there's the second one now let's just do a little test fit to make sure that actually works underneath and we can see when that's there and that's there yep these these long bits here they do not interfere so that's very good so that should do the job um, and that's sitting on top that's fine that's still below uh, that one um, which is that's the overlap from the other uh, brick above from the other uh, roof tile above so that's all looking good um, Let's see what we can do. Um, we're gonna try, we've got a diamond um, hole saw here. We're gonna try and uh, drill a nice hole with this diamond hole saw. Let's see how that goes. Might just slow it down a bit. Yeah, it's not quite there. Too 
too bad. I think we need to put a little bit of water on this uh, to make it a little bit more um There we go, that was number one hold. Let's see if that fits. Yep, that fits nicely. Okay, now we try number two. Here we go. So now we've got two holes. Both of them are the right size, and we can see underneath. We've got two very clean plugs that have been removed from the roof tile. So that's the process for drilling a hole so we can fit a gland through the roof tile. Just a little bit of information on um, how to fit cables through a concrete uh, tiled roof. Um, here's the concrete roof tile. We've drilled a couple of holes in it. Um, and I just want to talk a little bit about those, um, about those fittings. Um, that end of the fitting is a gland, just like any other cable gland uh, it's it's suitable for 25 millimeter corrugated um, conduit like this so corrugated conduit just fits in here nicely and then can be tightened up very easily and then it, it doesn't move and it's watertight and everything so that's how the actual cable goes through we can then put that conduit around so water doesn't get in and pops your uncle um, but let's just have a, a little bit of a look how these work. So here we have got uh, a couple of uh, rubber um, ribs in, the, in that rubber seal that's sitting on top here. And because concrete tiles are not flat, um, there's a special design for the component that goes underneath that allows it to sit up in the ridge. And We've got some hard plastic here. I don't know what it is. Um, and then on top of that hard plastic, we've got two uh, soft rubber parts that you can really tighten up onto the concrete. So just to have a, a quick demonstration on how that works and how to fit that, here is our, um, our fitting and that goes in. We need to put some some silicon underneath here according to the manufacturer's description but this is just a demonstration at the moment um, so on the other end it looks like this we can get uh, we can get that over the top here 
you can see how nicely that sits in the middle of the ridge and then the gland nut goes on and gets tightened up and that gives us a pretty good fit of that part so even just doing it up hand tight have a look that sits in there very nice and tight and just having it done up hand tight you can see how that rubber piece in here nicely forms over the top of uh, the uh, of the roof tile here over the radius um, so they're very neat very neat way and an easy way to get cable through a uh, concrete uh, roof tile all right we'll take that one off again and uh, we'll go and uh, fit them for real that was just a test fit of course so to fit these um, according to the product manual um, we have got a, a lip inside here and uh, that's a solid lip before we get those little ribs in there and that is where we are going to uh, apply um, a bead of silicon so we've got some silicon here this is just um, standard silicon um, I use uh, I use the small tubes because otherwise they always they always go off. So right around it here, we're going to put a nice bead of silicon. There we are. That's our silicon bead. Now I'll try not to get any on the on the actual thread. And we just put our fitting through. Then go to the other side. other end on put the nut on and give that a nice good Tight, but just hand tight is actually going to be enough for what we do here. There we go. Let's have a look on the other side. Yep, it looks very nice. Um, as you notice, there's no silicon that has come out around the side, and that's because there's still these uh, uh, these uh, ribs. Uh, where the silicon will get caught so that should be a good seal um, for a long time now let's do the second one Now, here's a good example of um, why you can't put those right next to each other because these uh, uh, these bits that are in here, uh, they always take up a little bit of room. The distance, the center distance between these two holes is 100 millimeters. So if you, if you make it 100 millimeters, you end up with a gap like this. It's a gap which is about half an inch um so if you wanted to if you really pressed for space you could make them 90 apart uh 90 millimeters between the whole centers and uh, that should still allow you to fit them Let's have a look on the other side there we go that's looking pretty neat um and we know it's going to be tight i've fitted many of these before and i've never had one leak so there we go um, next job is to get the roof tile up on the roof.
just a little demonstration while we're at it. Um, when it comes to actually putting some cable through, the ideal way to do that is to use 25 millimeter uh, corrugated conduit, which is of course flexible. So we can take that, we just push that in and you can see it's a nice tight fit. And once we tighten that up, even just hand tight, that is so tight, it's not gonna come out and it's certainly not gonna leak. So that's how you get a really nice tight fit. Um, and then that conduit of course can be any length. And my conduit normally does a 180 degree turn. So the, the other end of the conduit is pointing down so water physically cannot run in it's not possible for the water to get in thank you for watching